way the system's set up on this map right now is you'll get um, the scatter shot drop right there immediately. Watching best um, man screen right now. That's the initial. Right mm -hmm. And then uh, during the uh, mid-game rotation for drops. Actually, can we switch this back over to Infinity Slayer? We probably get some more of that. Are they on Team Slayer? Uh, sure? They have two Team Slayers, so up next is Infinity Slayer okay. on Drift. We can get the, we get those power weapons in no problem with Infinity Slayer. <laughs> one, one of the advantages we love about it is like there's more toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we're really happy to offer both experiences. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to, sorry to cut you off, um, but you said that they're not only is it going to be dropping weapons, but power ups. Uh, you can only drop power ups in these builds with the uh, personal ordnance system. Okay. So power ups are exclusive to their infinity reward drops. Okay. Um, but as I was saying earlier, the rotation in this map, you'll get sometimes it'll drop swords, sometimes it'll drop rockets, sometimes it'll drop snipers. Okay. And they're all in carefully tuned locations. Awesome. Uh, can, one thing we haven't talked about yet is the health system. Uh, yeah. The shield health system and the melee system, how that plays into it. Uh, I can't go into like specifics on exact bullets or shots yet, but um, we're still tuning it and like as you can play today, we're really comfortable with the changes we made. Our sandbox team is doing an amazing job of balancing this. I'm super stoked with it. And we'd love to hear your feedback on it as well. Oh, I'm just, uh, I, I can't wait to play. That more. Yeah, like, <laughs> you guys are staring. You're like, oh, I know. We're like just talking about it. Yeah, at the point. time, I'm, I'm putting the mic up to you, and I'm just staring. I'm just watching because I'm enjoying it, and uh, it's really it's so interesting to see all just different things. Like, I don't think a lot of these guys are testing out as much as we could be because yeah, I see I'm gonna go I see so much me. VR mm -hmm. action, but I'm not seeing like you know I'll see the occasional carbine or occasional DMR. I just so interested in seeing all the different like. Power up team, like you said, like thruster for example. Let's like go do that. Yeah. Let's go talk to Hulk, sir. We have that for your favorite, and yeah, I have not seen anyone use anything besides Prometheus. Oh, we just saw the hard light shield there. That's another one we got to look at. The hard light shield. Okay. Yeah. So let's go talk to Hoaxer. We haven't showed him on screen yet and see right, if we can get him to... Over. The, hard, the hard light shield, you said, right? Yeah. Okay. I got a wingman. Force him to put that up. All right, you got a wingman. What's wingman. a wingman? Five assists in a row. <laughs> Five assists in a row. Halo my warrior. Best Halo 4 Only player to date. Of any type. <laughs> yeah, so... Another, another change we made for the medals is he can actually earn um, those, that wingman assist free is of any type of assist he makes. So whether it's an EMP assist, a distraction, they all contribute to that new wingman spree. And what about uh, distractions? Uh, those are considered an assist, mm -hmm. so they'll, go, they'll contribute to the wingman. Gotcha. So you can have like three distractions and two regular assists and you'll get the wingman. Okay. Yeah. That's one thing I noticed too, assists are way better in this game than any other Halo. I feel like they actually they matter. register assists. Yeah, assists actually mean something. I was explaining to him it's so important that it's nice that they can show what you're doing for the team. It used to always just be looking at like caps, kills, death. and you know obviously assists play some part in that. But now it's like you're actually getting those points up, and you can you can get higher points than someone has more kills. Right. I mean, now that you're a main slayer in Halo 4, I know this doesn't apply to you as much. <laughs> I know, but you know what? It's still fun. I, I like points. I've always liked points, and you know, it's more points to get. So, all right, looking at Hoaxer's screen now. Hoaxer, we're looking to take a look at some of the other loadouts, and okay. you said the shield. We want to oh check out the, the shield loadout. What's it called? The hard light shield. The hard light shield. Yeah. So if one you want to set that up. One thing I want to point out is Hoaxer might be one of the worst people to watch from behind. <laughs> His hair takes up half the screen, so we're all going to have to cram in here somewhere. It? It's the one with the there hard light go. shield. He's got it there, hard up. light shield. Yeah, that, up. yeah, there you go. Okay. So he's, next time he dies, he's going to load this up, and Give us a little preview. What, uh, what, what is this expecting? bad boy? Yeah, what is this hard light shield? <laughs> I, or I guess, in what situation should you use it? Because I know what it's like, but I'd rather have you explain it because you're the expert. So, this one I wouldn't call myself an expert on. I call <laughs> myself this is like, I'm still getting used to it. It's, it's very new to Halo 4, but uh, for me, it gets me out of trouble. When I'm, like, when I'm out of ammo, now it creates a new oh, decision so for me. Should I reload? Yeah, you can hold it. Should I swap weapons? And you can see it here. Or do I pull up the shield and try to like save myself? There was a big counter to it, um, which is the grenade. So it isn't, you're not immune. But um, I, it's, I love the effects on it, and it's just an incredible new addition to this Halo sandbox. Agreed, I mean, I think a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but there were some people before that complained about armor lock, and this seems like a very good Yo, medium. Mm -hmm. Because not only do you have that aspect of the game where you can defend yourself, get distractions, get assists by doing that style and being out in the open, but you're also not completely invulnerable. And I really like this balance that you have so far. Not that there's anything wrong with Armalock before. <laughs> <laughs> Political crap wall I like the way you put yeah, that. I love it. Armalock <laughs> <laughs> shield is great. <laughs>
<laughs> How much damage can it take? Um, I can't really quote on the exact specifics, uh, mm -hmm. but if you'll, you'll watch it, it can take a beating, um, definitely. But you know, the real trick to getting around it is to throw that, get a, see if you can get a grenade right underneath his feet. So, you know, you're not immune. What if, uh, can you melee people when you have it in your hand? If you crouch with it, can you block grenades coming under as well? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. You're thinking new sandbox combinations we haven't even tried yet. So let's, let's find out. Switching to my stream with the rockets. Oh, Shazam! Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to see these rockets now because, I mean, every single person we've seen with it so far has been dying. He's got rockets with Promethean Vision. He is unstoppable. He's the best Halo 4 player in the world right now. He awesome cannot be stopped. Running like it's no big deal. He ignores the frag grenades, he doesn't need him. <laughs> oh, come right up, sir! A little pre-fire. Oh, nailed uh -oh. him! Uh-oh, can he get this? That was good, though. Oh, wow. Well. You got two kills. It was all right. Two rockets, two kills. You gotta figure out the rockets, because rockets from Halo 1 to Halo Reach, everyone has been so different. Right. So it's really interesting to see. Like, it seems like uh, Halo 4 does have a good balance of power to, uh, you know, reload time and weapon like the rocket speed and you know. But I want to point out Halo 1 through Halo 4, you still should easily be able to get that rocket going. <laughs> Wait, what was that? That's an either whether it's Halo 1 or Halo 4 or any in between, you still should be able to get that easy rocket kill when you have I, the upper hand advantage of the top. Shut up. With, with Promethean Vision I have no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the double kill. Get out there, get nasty. Oh pick up the snipe. Oh, is that a snipe? We have right there they just oh, dropped. Man. Uh, what is this one that you have? Let's talk, the, let's, yeah, let's talk about the, the storm rifle, right? Oh, right. oh yeah, storm right rifle. All right, so he's using the storm rifle right now. Where does this come from? How'd you guys come up with this one? It's one of the new covenant weapons in the game. Um, it's sort of, it's a very fast repeater. It sort of complements the AR. You can see it has a nice spread there. Yeah. Uh, get it! I'm, I'm, I am i can not get this one down, but I have been owned by the studio. I love it too. This definitely seems like, even though he got the kill right there, yeah. it seems more like an assist weapon. Like you can drain people's shields, and right. then you have all your teammates, you know, get the headshot with either. You can switch either to Magnum or have all your teammates give like VR, EMR, oh one of the things to finish it off. Absolutely. And the great, the great thing about it is it complements the AR experience. It isn't just a reskinned uh, assault rifle. It actually really is its own unique weapon. Which is really actually, I did have a question. How do you know when to use the D-pad for like a weapon drop or whatever? Oh, um, right now you're playing the Team Slayer that doesn't have the uh, ordnance drops in it. Oh, okay. But we should fire up Infinity Slayer. Yep, Infinity Slayer that. Adrift is coming up next. Okay. So this one has random weapon drops in it. Uh, not random weapon drops, but their spawning system that they have implemented here. And in Infinity Slayer, that's where you build up your power bar, and when it gets full, you automatically show up on your screen. Right, so all, all your right, medals and assists go towards your, your drop power up, so uh, your drop meter. This game does have a huge variety of, of modes and and ways to play it. Are you starting to like it more? I see you're starting to use a pistol a lot. Yeah, I'm definitely starting to like it more, actually. Oh, nice. A lot of this stuff is, is actually really neat, and it's starting to make more and more sense you know, as you play it, obviously, but mm -hmm. uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely fun. It's definitely fun. A little Promethean vision. Yeah, well, also get to wipe the floor with all these scrubs, so. <laughs> <laughs> all these scrubs. There it is, headshot all day, baby. Kyle so far has been dominating, he's been doing very well. We got T-squared going around in the background. <laughs> Shoutcasted back there. Oh, there's a sniper rifle. Oh, sniper. get the sniper. Okay, so where, where is it? Yeah, did you see it drop from the infinity? It came right down, and then it, it was picked up so quickly, so someone's got it. Okay, we gotta find People are gonna be in our environment. Yeah, Who's got it? I'm going to the other side. We're gonna swing around the other side because one of them has sniper. But I wanted to Who ask. Who has snipe? Oh, your best man has sniper. Was, oh, one oh the best man has a sniper. In, We're here now to support you, my friend. No pressure at all. All right, so how many rounds come with the sniper rifle? So he's uh, just four in the base clip. It's still you know, pretty close to the original one. Um, zoom, we've ripped green on the HUD and uh, some of the timings on it, but you know, it's the Halo sniper rifle, and we're glad to bring it back. It looks like a tank, man. <laughs> it's always it feels been a staple of the game. I'm interested, Oops. like obviously we can see as far as a tactical um, loadout, he does not have awareness on because if he had that on while he zoomed in, he can still have his radar, correct? That's right. Yeah, Good if point. he had that mod on, he would have seen that. 
You, I can't believe how fast you've learned this stuff. It, it comes together so quickly. Do you realize who I am? <laughs> He's a national champion. <laughs> No, to me, that's yeah, the third time I've seen that. Myself, if I'm building a loadout in this game, I would definitely, on these larger maps, be choosing awareness because I want to be able to have that radar option. Whereas on the closer, you know, obviously it's map to map, your loadouts are going to depend and be so important in how you play and what you should choose. Absolutely, and I, that's one of the choices we're giving players with the new loadout system. And, um, and we can say there's even more coming to it. This is just what we have for E3, and it's all coming together really well. I'm just stoked about it.